Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, and we get to do our last ABC page for the week, but you will keep working on this until we finish completely. So we get to do E is for elephant today. So the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to start by making the head. So we're going to just do kind of a curve like so. And then you're going to bring it all the way down. You kind of want to make it more oval. The next thing we're going to do is make the trunk the elephant. Oh, this side's kind of fatter. Make them a little bit. Okay, now we are ready for the trunk. So for the trunk, you're going to start kind of in the middle, and you're just going to make a curved line like this, and then you go back kind of close where you started, but make it go a little bit farther out, and you're going to follow that line just like that. Then you're going to make your lines kind of go outwards a little bit, and then you're going to connect them. You've got a little bit of a rounder side on the back of them. Okay, now if you notice, part of the head is sticking out of the elephant, and so we're going to erase that line. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of Fix, fix a few things here. The next step is the eyes. And the eyes are going to look a little goofy for a little bit. But I promise they will look better once we start outlining everything. So you kind of go, oh, and you know what? I did mine a little bit too high. You're almost right next to the trunk on the other side, and you're pretty far outwards. You're making a great big eye like that. Then you're going to do that to the other side. Great big eye. You want to try and get them to be as close to the same size as possible. So we're using different eyes on this, on this animal. Okay, after that you're going to draw a little line pretty close to the bottom. This one just isn't as round as my other one. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, and then you're going to draw two circles inside the bigger part of the eye. I know it looks funny right now, but I promise they will look better once we fill them in. And then you're going to draw lines, four lines like that inside of the, the smaller part. Alright, and then we're going to give her some eyelashes, or him some eyelashes. Elephants have long eyelashes. Oh, did you hear Augie? He is hungry. He's ready to eat. He's getting mad at me. Alright, then you got some eyebrows. Okay. 
And then we're going to, and actually fix my trunk just a little bit. We're going to make our trunk into a smile. So the only thing that you have to do is just put a little line like this. And we've got kind of a smile. Let me get closer so you can see. All right. And then we're going to give our elephant some little hair. Okay, now we are ready for the or for the ears, and elephants have great big ears. So we're going to start over here and just make a curve and go down for a little ways, and in and up. And that's our ear. Do that to the other side. You want to try and get them to the ears similar as possible, but it is kind of tricky, so it's okay if they're not perfect. Oh, and see mine, this one's a little bigger, and you know what, I might fix this one to make it a little bigger. Okay, so now I'm going to add a few lines to our trunk. And this will just be kind of lines that show that it curves. So we're going to do four lines. The last part of our elephant is the body. So you're going to start over here and just kind of draw curved lines on each side. Okay, now we need to draw the legs, so you're just going to start in the middle, kind of, and draw big curved lines, and do that again, start in the middle, draw big curved lines, and you want them to pretty much touch, and then you're going to draw some wrinkles right here, and then we need to draw the toenails, we're drawing three toenails. Just like that. And the last thing is we need to do the back feet. So he's going to be kind of sitting down. Oops. So you're drawing a big oval. Just like that. And you want to try and do it the same on the other side. Oh, too small. stop. He's being very talkative. Okay, and then we need some toenails on this side. Oh. Just 
giving them three toenails on this side too. Okay, and we are all finished with this part. So then I need to do a background. So I'm gonna draw him outside and I'm gonna do some very long grass. And then I'll do the sun. And some clouds. And some birds. And there we go. So the next step that we need to do is we need to um, outline it with our black crayon. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have outlined everything except for the eyes. I wanted to show you how to do the eyes. So I'll go ahead and outline the eyebrows and the eyelashes. All right. So the eyes, and go ahead and trace the circles. And the little slit and the lines. Now you are going to fill in every part of the other part of the circle except for the little circles we put inside. So you're going to go ahead and Carefully color around the circles. Like this. Okay, and so it looks a little bit more like an eye. These are kind of more cartoon type that we did today. All right, so now we have it all outlined. Oh, and the next part that we have to do is we have to practice our sentence. So E is for elephant. Make sure you have capitals, periods, and spaces between your words. E Okay, the next part is we need to color our picture. So we're using small strokes, one direction, lots of color, realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly. Maybe. Okay, so I've finished coloring my E is for elephant. So I am excited to see all of your guys' hard work.